everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to crochet the almond beanie, which you can see here in front of you in the photo. There's also more photos on richtexturescrochet.com. This is my sample almond beanie and I have it here without the pom-pom so you can see what the top looks like. Uh, of course the pom-pom for this beanie and many of my other beanies are all optional. So this is the almond beanie. It's a very easy pattern to work. I've worked it in a unique way as you'll see with a ring up at the top which makes it really easy for closing that top. This beanie has a little bit of stretch to it and later on in the video I'm going to tell you how you can adjust it uh, for your own particular sizing. Uh, the size I'm going to show you uh, fits an adult head, about 21 to 22 inches. There is stretch throughout this hat, making it a great project. I love this almond ridges stitch. Today for your tutorial, you're going to need a 5 millimeter crochet hook, as well as some worsted weight yarn. I'm going to be working with Lion Brand Heart yarn, Heartland yarn, which is an acrylic yarn you're going to need about 250 yards so we will be using most of this ball of yarn uh, and again you can substitute for whatever yarn you'd like also the free written pattern if you'd like to follow along is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and there's links to all of these items down in the description of this video while you're there uh, please Feel free to say hi, and if you happen to make this beanie, let me know what you think, and I look forward to seeing your photos on social media. Also, don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials like this one. So, as I mentioned, our beanie is worked in a fairly unique way. We're going to be working it side to side instead of top down or bottom up. So, to begin, we're going to start by making a magic ring, a magic circle, or else you can make a chain circle. If you're going to make a chain circle, chain 10 and then join your yarn with a slip stitch up at the top. If you're going to make a magic ring as I'm going to, uh, there are numerous ways of making the magic ring. I like to leave a fairly long tail and then I simply cross it over like I would my slip knot and then pull up my loop from the center and chain one. So I'm going to be working into this magic ring every time I come up the top. As I work this first row uh, or the foundation chain, I like to just loop the ring onto my ring finger here and uh, just to hang on to it as I'm working so that it doesn't uh, slip or fall apart. So then you're going to go ahead and chain 40. This is going to be the foundation chain uh, for the first row. So go ahead, chain 40 chains. There's 20. Now if you would like to change the height of your hat, make it shorter or longer to give it a little bit more slouch, uh, this hat is fitted for the adult size head. If you'd like to change it, you're simply going to, in multiples of four, add or subtract to the 40 chain stitches. Okay, so add or subtract multiples of four to the chain 40 to change the size. Once you have your 40 chains, you're then going to begin by working a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook and then into each of the next nine chains. Uh, for this first row, I do like to work into the back bumps of my stitches. I find it's going to make it a little bit easier when I go to join the seam later on, but it's really up to you. So you want to work a total of 10 slip stitches. Okay. 
just like so. Now, uh, at this point, we're going to begin the start of the repeat for this row. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to slip stitch in each of the next four stitches. So work four more slip stitches. And now work four half double crochet stitches or one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. One slip stitch in each of the next four stitches followed by one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Continue all the way up your chain until you come to the magic ring. Once you come all the way across, this is what your work looks like, and you're up here at your magic ring. Once you have worked your final four slip stitches, you're going to slip stitch into the center of your ring. This slip stitch does not count as a stitch. Chain one, the chain one also does not count as a stitch. You're then going to turn your work. Now for row two, we're going to work in the back loop only. So skipping that chain one and that slip stitch into the ring, Looking at your stitches, you have the back loop, which is the loop furthest away from you, and your front loop. So we're working under this back loop only, and you're going to slip stitch in each of the next four stitches. Now I've made mine kind of tight here. Try not to uh, work your slip stitches too tight. It'll make it much easier. It also gets easier as you work the beanie in length. So four slip stitches, continuing to work in the back loop only, you're then going to work one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. You're now going to repeat slip stitch into each of the next four stitches. followed by a half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Continue all the way across until you have 10 stitches remaining. I've come all the way across here. I have 10 stitches remaining. This is our brim. We're going to then work one slip stitch, continuing to work in the back loop only uh, of each stitch all the way across. So 10 more slip stitches. Again, work these slip stitches uh, fairly loose. It'll make it easier to work into them. These first ones are always tricky anyway. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. For row three, working in the back loop only, slip stitch into each of the first 10 stitches. This pattern is worked entirely, almost, in the back loop only. And 10. 
You're then going to continue working in the back loop only, half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. This is the start of the repeat of the pattern. You're then going to work in the back loop only slip stitch into each of the next four stitches. And now repeat that all the way across, half double crochet into each of the next four stitches, followed by a slip stitch into each of the next four stitches all the way across to your magic ring. At the end of row three, you're going to slip stitch into the center of your ring, chain one, and turn your work. For row four, we're going to begin with one half double crochet in each of the first four stitches, working in that back loop only. Followed by one slip stitch, working in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. Repeat that all the way across to your final 10 stitches and slip stitch into the final 10 slip stitches, chain one and turn your work. At the end of row four, you've worked your final 10 slip stitches, chain one, and turn your work. You should now start to see that almond pattern coming through. For row five, you're going to begin working in the back loop only slip stitch in each of the first 10 stitches. You're then going to begin the repeat of the pattern with a slip stitch in each of the next four stitches. Working in the back loop only, followed by a half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Repeat that all the way across to your ring at the top. At the end of row five, slip stitch into the center of your ring, chain one, and turn. Now for the rest of the pattern, until your work from the beginning measures approximately 18 inches, you're going to repeat rows two, three, four, and five. So repeat rows two through to five uh, until your work from the beginning measures approximately in, uh, 18 inches. So you're starting here with your slip stitch in each of the next four, followed by your half double crochets in each of the next four, and so forth. Just continue the pattern. If you are changing the size of your beanie, uh, you might want it a little bit wider or not quite as wide, you're simply going to work to the circumference to the length that you would like before you work your seam. Once you've done that, you're going to meet me back here and I'll show you how to finish off your almond beanie. Once you have worked your beanie to about 18 inches, this is what you're going to have. And then up here at the top, you'll have your magic ring. You're then going to uh, make sure that the hat is turned right side out. And we're going to work a slip stitch seam 
all the way across. So what I did to work my seam is working in the back loop only of both thicknesses, the first side and then the corresponding stitch on the other side, you're going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. Make sure that you don't miss or skip any stitches. Uh, you uh, don't want to have any holes in the seam of your beanie, but simply slip stitch, back loop only of each stitch all the way across. Uh, once you're done that, you can fasten off and uh, weave in any ends that may be remaining. Up at the top, you're going to you taking your magic ring you're going to pull it closed as tight as you can up at the top then take a yarn needle and simply sew the top of your hat closed and uh, then turn your beanie right side out and it will be complete so that's all there is to working this almond beanie once you finish the seam sew the top of your hat closed add a pom-pom if you'd like and then enjoy. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to work the almond beanie. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.